So can you believe this? Well, all these images are generated by Google's latest text to image AI. I have tried the text to image generator demo by myself and I was quite impressed. You can input what kind of a image you want in the text format and they will generate remarkably accurate and impressive looking pictures that match your description. The great advantage of AI is that they can match range of styles and they can even generate realistic looking photographs. To the date, DALI E2 is the leading AI text to image generation software. Here you can see DALI E2 can able to generate uh, the image based on your description. So let's say you want an astronaut playing a basketball with cats in a space and you want this as a children book illustration or you can do in a minimalistic style or you can do in a, in a watercolor style. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can test out the DALI E2 onto the link given in the description below a bowl of soup that is portal to another dimension wow that looks like a monster oh my goodness and made out of a plasticine oh wow that's so much unique and honestly if you go into the hassle of actually making this kind of image by yourself it will take a lot of time talking about the image in well let me show you the demonstration so if you head over to the image dot research dot google this is the official web page for their image in they have illustrated quite a lot of neat examples seeing those example i was thrilled to see what ai can really do i mean just take a look at it a dog looking curiously in the mirror seeing a cat oh my god like you just need to write what you need and ai simply gives you the image as a youtube creator you know i have to make uh, thumbnails on a daily basis so for that kind of work honestly this can be really useful and for any artist let's say um, if you want to create a piece of uh, art on your music you can easily able to generate uh, interesting images as well here you can see a giant cobra snake snake is made out of a corn wow that's image oh wow transparent sculpture of dog made out of glass that's truly realistic right there blue jay standing on a rainbow macarons without wasting any time let me show you the demonstration so this is the way how the image and ai system works compared to the dali e2 image and ai is uh, that much powerful so let me show you a quick little demonstration of image and ai so let me do an oil painting of a fuzzy panda wearing a cowboy hat and having a black leather jacket riding a bike on a beach wow that's a truly beautiful image uh, let's do a photo of a persian cat wearing a sunglasses oh that's really cool and red shirt playing a guitar in a garden oh my goodness uh, red shirt might be gone but still it's a really great looking image right there then let me do a photo of a raccoon and wearing a red shirt okay then we got skating skateboarding nice on a beach oh wow skateboarding on a beach is that even possible uh, on top of a mountain let's say whoa that's some really mind-blowing stuff right there uh, particularly uh, as i am describing what kind of images i particularly want and instantly you get a uh, output image out of it that's truly a power of AI and Google is truly demonstrating some interesting possibilities right there. Oil painting of a British short hair cat with a black leather jacket in a garden. Wow, you can do a photo as well and there is an oil painting. Photo and oil painting. You can do a fuzzy panda. You can do a photo of it. Also oil painting. So like this is truly like limitless possibilities. What you can imagine, you can create that artwork in real life. While these pictures are undoubtedly impressive in their coherence, accuracy and the overall look, you should take this with a pinch of salt. Google Brain Research Team releases a new model and they tend to cherry pick the best results of the images. So while these pictures look beautiful and polished and a final and honestly look like uh, something created by a professional artist, they may not be the representation of the average output of the image system. Images generated by this text to image model may look unfinished, smeared, sometimes there might be glitches here and there. Also there might be some possibility that system might misunderstand what you are saying and that will produce totally different kind of result. Honestly it's hard to judge for ourselves. On the other side if these images were used for things like fake news, hoaxes, harassment and other stuff. 
If you put garbage in, you will surely get garbage out, generated by AI obviously. So it's up to the user how they wanna use it. To limit the AI not generating too much of a chaos, Google is certainly trying to train their model in that direction. Whether it's a DALI 2 or Imagine, seeing the results, I was thoroughly impressed. Now what do you think about it guys? Do let me know which one is better, whether it's DALI 2 or Imagine. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel. And this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.